In a previous lesson, we went over how to calculate ordinary simple interest. In today's lesson, we'll be going over how to calculate exact simple interest. I recommend checking out my lesson on ordinary simple interest before watching this one. I'll leave a link in the description, but it's not completely necessary. For those of you who haven't seen it, let me quickly get you up to speed. Remember that if we invest P in an account that's earning simple interest at a rate R, then at time T, the total amount in the account is given by this expression. The principal amount we invested multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate times time or the number of interest periods that have passed. We can work with simple interest rates that are daily or weekly or monthly, but it's most common that a simple interest rate will be given as an annual rate, like 5% simple interest annually. That means that if, for example, 30 days have passed since our original investment and we want to calculate the total amount in the account, our time t needs to be equal to the number of years since the interest rate is annual. It has to be equal to the number of years that 30 days is. But how many years is 30 days? For ordinary simple interest, we convert days to years by dividing the number of days by 360. But for exact simple interest, we convert days to years by dividing the number of days by 365 unless it is calculated in a leap year. In which case, we convert days to years by dividing the number of days that have passed by 366, the number of days in a leap year. This isn't a lesson on leap years, but for a quick summary, a year is a leap year and thus has 366 days if it is a multiple of 4 and it is not a multiple of 100 that's also not divisible by 400. So for quick examples, 1996 is a leap year because it's divisible by 4. 2100 is not a leap year because although it is divisible by 4, it's also divisible by 100 and not not 400. The year 2000 is a leap year because it's divisible by 4 and 400. So a year that is divisible by 100 will not be a leap year unless it's also divisible by 400, which 2000 is. And then a year like 1997, for example, is not a leap year because it's not divisible by 4. And again, to convert days to years under exact simple interest, we divide the number of days by 365 unless it is a leap year, in which case we divide the number of days by 366. All right, that's enough of that. Let's just get into a couple practice problems to make sure we understand. Give this problem a shot before watching the solution. We want to find the exact simple interest and the amount if 500 is loaned for 100 days at 4%. Quickly, to explain this language, the amount is the principal loan plus the interest earned. And since this question doesn't specify a year, we will assume that it is not a leap year. So with that in mind, we can solve the problem pretty easily. We just need to remember our formula for simple interest. The amount in an account earning simple interest is equal to the principal investment multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate times time. P times 1 is just the principal amount, and P times RT is the interest that's earned. So let's first find the exact simple interest that's earned, the principal times the rate times the time. This is equal to, in this case, the principal loan amount of 500 multiplied by our interest rate, which is 4%. So we multiply by 4%, and then we need to multiply by the time that has passed, or the number of interest periods. This is an annual simple interest rate, so we need to measure time in years, and we are calculating exact simple interest. So the number of years that have passed is equal to the number of days that have passed, 100 divided by 365. And this is approximately 5.48. So that is the exact simple interest earned on the loan. Then we just need to calculate the amount, which is the sum of the principal plus the interest. The principal is 500. We just calculated the interest as about 5.48. And so the total amount is about 505.48. So whoever borrowed the 500 for 100 days has to pay back 505.48. All right, let's do one more example. Again, give this one a go yourself before watching the solution. 
A man who invested 1000 on January 1st, 2004, had 1010 returned to him 45 days later. At what rate did his money earn exact simple interest? To solve this problem, we just have to use our familiar simple interest formula and solve for the simple interest rate. We know that the total amount, the principal plus interest, is what the man received at the end of the period, so 1,010 that was returned to him 45 days after his investment. So we have 1,010 is equal to the principal investment of 1,000 multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate, which is what we're trying to solve for, so we'll just call that R, multiplied by the amount of time that has passed, or the number of interest periods. We're assuming the interest rate is annual, so the amount of time that has passed needs to be measured in years. We are using exact simple interest during 2004, which is a leap year. So to convert the number of days to years, we just have to divide 45 by the number of days in a leap year, 366. Then we just do some algebra to solve for r. Divide both sides of the equation by 1,000. So we have 1.01 .01 is equal to 1 plus the interest rate multiplied by 45 divided by 366. Then subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. So we have 0.01 .01 is equal to the interest rate r multiplied by 45 divided by 366. Then finally, to get rid of this factor, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by its reciprocal, 366 divided by 45. After doing this, we see on the right side of the equation, these cancel out to 1, and so we are left with 366 over 45 times 0 0.01, which is approximately 0 0.0813, and on the other side of the equation, we just have the interest rate. Thus, on his investment, the man earned exact simple interest at an annual rate of about 0 0.0813, or 8.13%. So that is how we make calculations using exact simple interest. Remember, it's just a convention for converting the number of days to the number of years when dealing with annual simple interest, in which we convert days to years by taking the number of days and dividing it by 365, unless it's a leap year, in which case we divide by 366. So I hope this video helped you understand exact simple interest. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. If you find these lessons helpful, I hope you'll consider making a small donation on PayPal or a small monthly pledge on Patreon. I'll leave links to those in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description.